How's it going again everyone? King Blacktooth here again with another analytical video for you. This video is focusing on the Greater Golem, which is a card which you may not have seen or heard much of, because it was really just in the discard pile of one of the videos, and we've, we've heard a little bit about it. It's very subject to change, so the information might change, or might be uh, misunderstood a little bit. So it's not as clear as Saskia or Geralt Igni and other cards, which we know definitely do what they do for now. This card is subject to change, but this is what we know of it so far, okay? So the Greater Golem is an 8 strength siege unit with Death Wish. It's a neutral card, and it's a character card. So it's going to take up one of your six slots, which is actually pretty good when you come to think about it, because it's never going to be a troop card. Um, so at least it's not a hero card. They might change it to hero in the future <laughs> when we talk about strategies, but for now it's a character card. And um, anyone can have it because it's neutral as far as we're aware. Which makes sense, because it, it kind of plays on the J Golem and the normal Golem that we've seen before. We'll get onto that in a minute. So the Death Wish is when it's removed from the battlefield, and much like the cow, this can be enacted, uh, can be forced to happen by using decoys to bring it off the battlefield, unless they've changed it in the future. future. Um, but that was confirmed by the developers, in regards to the cow, so it probably worked for this as well. When it's removed from the battlefield, it spawns two Golems, four strength Golems. Now we've seen these Golems before, uh, we've got the J Golem, 4 Strength Melee J Golem, and 4 Strength Siege Golem. Okay, we've seen those before, and they've both got the Death Wish ability too. And effectively, the 4 Strength Melee J Golem, the Death Wish, is when removed from the battlefield, spawn two lesser J Golems, which have 2 Strength Melee. And the 4 Strength Siege Golem spawns two lesser Golems, which are 2 Strength Siege. Okay. Right, so, you can start to see a chain happening. You place the character card, which is 8 strength, when it gets removed, it splits the 8 strength into two fours, so it's still the remaining same strength, really, for the next round, possibly, if it, unless it gets scorched or whatever. Uh, but there's one melee, one siege, which is probably a negative, because it's hard to, like, buff them both up. You've got to, you've got to double your efforts there. Um, but then, when they get removed, or the next round ends, they split again, but again, they will have 8 strength, because the J Golem, which was 4, splits into 2 twos, and the Golem, splits, which was 4, splits into 2 twos. So, on turn 1, you've got an 8 strength Greater Golem, and then on turn 2, you've got 2 um, Golems, which are 4 strength, and on turn 3, you've got 4 Golems, which are 2 strength each, which is 8 strength still. So, obviously, as it breaks down, Motivate uh, is going to be more effective, the morale boost plus two to everyone on that row. Obviously they are split so that's a, an issue. Some of the positives to do with this card is that it is a consistent eight strength throughout all the rounds. Now this can get sped up and uh, sort of reduced if they uh, scorch something. Uh, for example if they scorch it on turn one then you're going to get the, the golems on turn one and then you're going to get the lesser ones on turn two and then you'll have nothing for turn three. But for the most part it's consistent eight strength between all three rounds. And that's going to work really well with uh, other strategies like that, like the Mahakam and Guard, which have the resilient ability to stay on the round, stay on the board between rounds. You know, you also got Zoltan the Brawler; he'll do the same. So this is working out really, really effectively to um, to build a deck all about resilient and maybe motivate. Because the more cards you have on the board, the more effective it's going to be, and it's looking really good in that sort of way. So the next positive is that it will protect against Scorch and towards the end, when the lesser golems are out, will protect against Epidemic as well. Because the 8 strength golem is obviously quite high. If you use it in combination with the Mahakam and Guard, which are 6 strength, and Zoltan and stuff, then it's obviously higher strength, so it is going to protect them from Scorch. It is a character card at the moment. Um, I expect it to be a hero later on, because it is, it is pretty powerful. But for the minute, it's a character card, so uh, you can buff it up with Commander's Horns the same way as all your Mahakam and Guards, although some of them are melee, and this is a siege. We do have one siege Mahakam and Guard though. And if they do scorch it, then it's not too bad, because you still get to keep 8 strength on the board. They don't actually, you know, reduce the strength on the board at the moment, which is really good. Um, the best way they can deal with it is probably to weather effect it, but then it will spawn back into 8 strength next turn, but that's probably the best way to deal with it at the moment. So the next positive is that it has some pretty powerful combinations that you can use it for. So the first one being, much like the cow, you can place it down and then decoy it up to activate its um, 
Death Wish ability. So you place the 8 strength character card down, and then you decoy it, that's uh, 2 4 strength golems. Place it down again, decoy it again, that's another 2 4 strength golem, so you've got uh, 16 strength on the board so far. Place it down again, decoy it again if you've got 3 decoys, which is unlikely, but I want to make it sound cool, so I'm going to do the most optimal play here. That's 6 4 strength golems, okay? And so that is uh, 4, 8, 12, 24 strength. And then you can place it down again. So the next turn you'll get another another double set of golems. And and then those four golems there, they will spawn um, oh, what's that? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 lesser golems on turn 2. So, you know, this is uh, quite a crazy combination there. And if you do manage to get 12 lesser golems in any sense, then motivate cards are going to work really really well um, the more cards you have on the board the more effective it's going to be obviously these lesser golems are going to be split between melee and siege but you can just start to see how some of this uh, is going to start reeling out of control which is really interesting you know and you get to keep these kind of strengths as you go uh, round three will be the the area where you start to lose some when you're doing that sort of strategy because you're you're not uh, waiting for the great golem to go off you're forcing it off but a really powerful strategy um, if you've got my Hackerman Guard and stuff like that as well. And not to mention, uh, if you medic out this uh, Greater Golem because it's a character, it's gonna like, oh boy, you know, if they scorch it, then you can just medic it out. It's so, so good. So if you're going for this uh, Greater Golem and loads of small Golem strategy that I outlined a minute ago, I would say they're pretty safe from weather effects. It's not gonna hinder them too much. Um, the Greater Golem is probably the one that's going to get hindered the most, but then you still do get the 4 strength the next turn anyway. And as you start going down the chain, it's, the weather effects are going to get less effective. When you finally do get to the lesser Golems, it's really only going to reduce them by 1. And, uh, and that's not really effective at all. If you've got Motivates on the board, it's going to really just bring them back up to 3 and stuff. So it's not too much of a hindrance weather effects. Obviously, you want to consider if your opponent is playing them for them for buffs, because then you might need to get rid of them. This deck probably would feature very well with mushrooms, or this strategy here would feature well with mushrooms. When you've got, if you do manage to get like 12 lesser golems on the board, mushrooming them will just be amazing, because then they'll all be, what, six strength each. If they get weathered, the mushrooms act after the weather effects, so the weather will take them down to one strength, even though they're only two, and then the mushrooms will bring them back up to five, but that's like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, that's 50, 60 strength. It's pretty reasonable, you know. Um, I think I'm being a little optimistic all over the place here, but I'm trying to make it sound, give you the, uh, you know, awe-inspiring speech here. But mushrooms seem to work quite well. I think they would do, would serve quite well against in this deck. And this is a deck that I'm really interested to try out. Okay, and what we've seen so far is that you can actually place jade golems and normal four strength golems into your deck so far that is possible we've seen it in video evidence um, so not only can you have the character card you can actually have other jade golems and other golems which are four strength so you can even increase the likelihood that you're going to get all these golems coming out because you can place the character card down then you can place a jade golem down a hackerman guard another four strength golem another four strength golem another you know you can have three of these jade golems in your deck and you can have three golems in your deck you can have one greater golem in your deck you can have like three so far Mahakaman guards in your deck you've got Zoltan the brawler <sighs> you know what I mean so you've got access to quite a lot of, of these cards whether they're actually worthy because when you start looking at decks like northern rounds where they can bond for 128 strength it's yeah you know and that's really going to bring me on to the negative the one negative I have about this kind of thing at the moment this whole game plan at the minute so the negative is not necessarily just to do with the greater golem but the whole golem army and the resilient strategy that i've kind of outlined in the video and that is that you're going to be playing most of your cards on round one obviously if you beat them in strength already and they've passed then you've got more mahakaman guards to play don't play them play them on turn two but uh, for the most part, you'll be using all your unit cards on turn one because that's the that's the strategy, you know, keep the strength for all the rounds. And uh, that's going to be hard to keep control of. You're probably only going to have, what, like two, three cards in your hand 
uh, that'll actually be usable on turn two and three. Cards like Mushrooms and Commander's Horns and Motivates and stuff like that, Scorches, Epidemics, if you choose to put them in, they're gonna be have to be played really, really early in the second and third rounds. You can't afford to wait because the opponent's still gonna have like five or six cards because they're gonna split them between rounds. Um, so you're gonna have to play your Commander's Horn really early and that could be detrimental to you. Um, if, if you've got a clear weather or possibly a Scorch or Epidemic, it's going to be so hard to play that because you're going to be passing really quickly on turn two and three, but the opponent's not going to have hardly anything on the board. So they're not going to play their, their weather effect straight away, so it's going to be so hard for you to play your clear weathers. And so it's kind of a, a strategy which is hard to maintain control. You're giving the opponent like all the options really. You've put your strength on the board and you're giving them all the options, just you know, calculate it. You've got the timer, feel free. Calculate as much as you want, see if you can beat me. It's a very passive game, it seems like this, but it's an interesting strategy. I can't wait to try it out. There's probably uh, little nuances that you can do. And also, I discussed a moment ago that, obviously, your strength is not massive. You know, you've got six strength, Mahakam and Guard, another one and another one. That's like, what is it, 18 strength. And then you've got an eight strength, uh, Greater Golem. That's probably, what, let's say, that's 26 strength or something. So, you know, it's not overly high amounts of strength where you consider that northern realms with two cards can get 64 strength uh, with three cards can get 128 strength but like i said you're passing early so they they've got all they need is three cards which is so easy to get for northern rounds it's leader ability one bond and a commander's horn and they've got 128 strength on you it's uh it's a dangerous game obviously it's a very interesting strategy I, I, I can't wait to try it out. This is going to be the second deck that I can't wait to try out. The first one being the Alchemist deck. I'm always trying to go for the unusuals. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. What do you think about the Greater Golem? I think he's really good. I actually don't know if he should be a hero or not. Uh, he is powerful, but um, 8 strength is not too great. Um, it is basically 8 strength split between 3 rounds. So that's uh, 8, 16, 24 strength uh, like character, which is pretty good. But... Obviously, Scorches and Weather Effects and Commander's Horns are probably a little bit more useful. I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Let me know what you think.